Hi friends, once again welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. This video is a humble attempt to explain the structure and replication of SARS-CoV-2 that is causing the present outbreak COVID-19 disease. As we are in complete lockdown globally, please stay at home, stay safe and save lives. May Almighty protect us all and also provide us with the strength to overcome this disease. This video is based on scientific publications as on March 28, 2020. As we know that the research is going on. So moving into the topic, starting with what are coronaviruses and why the name? So this is a transmission electron microscope image released by Vaccine Research Center of NIH in USA. This is a causative virus of COVID-19. Why the name coronavirus? As you can see, this is an envelope virus. So on the top of the envelope, there is a spike that is projecting outside, just giving the appearance of a crown. So in Latin, coronum in Latin means crown. Therefore, the crown-like appearance under electron microscope, that is why the name is given coronavirus that is a typical characteristic of this family of viruses. It is actually the spike glycoprotein that is projecting out of the envelope. Now coronaviruses are family of viruses that causes diseases in mammals and birds. In humans it causes respiratory infections ranging from common cold to severe infections rarely such as MERS, SARS and now we have COVID-19. Moving into the structure of SARS-CoV-2. As you can see, this is an envelope virus. The first part is the spike. Spike protein is a glycoprotein. That means protein with some amount of carbohydrate that helps the binding of this virus to the host cell surface, actually binding to a receptor which is called as ACE2, angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor and also facilitate the entry. On binding to this receptor, a conformational change is occurring that allows the virus to get inside by endocytosis. As per the scientific data, this spike is having more affinity to this ACE2 receptor compared to the previous MERS and SARS-CoV-1 virus. So that may be the reason for its vast spread all around the globe. Then the second part is the nucleocapsid. This protein that is bound to genome that forms the nucleocapsid. You can see this is the RNA genome on which proteins bound to it and that forms the nucleocapsid. Then there is a membrane. Membrane protein is the central organizer of COV assembly. It determines the shape of viral envelope. And the fourth part is the viral envelope. As you can see, envelope protein interacts with the membrane protein to form the viral envelope and the genome is single-stranded RNA it is positive sense it is approximately 30 KB that we will be discussing later so this is about the structure of SARS-CoV-2 it is almost similar to that of MERS and SARS-CoV-1 but the sequence data and amino acid data we have suggest that it has some distinct differences that is causing a massive spread of this particular disease. This domain binds to the receptor ACE2 receptor. Now moving to the replication of SARS-CoV-2. First step is the binding of the virus, especially the spike region, the glycoprotein binds to the ACE2 receptor that causes some conformational change allowing the entry of the virus inside into the cytoplasm by endocytosis. Step 2 is the release of viral genome. It is a single-stranded RNA. It is a positive sense RNA. That means that RNA is ready for translation. It is recognized by the eukaryotic ribosome instantly and it is ready for translation. As we know that in the case of eukaryotes, the mRNA is processed, then only the ribosome can recognize the mRNA. mRNA should have a 5' cap and a poly tail. So this viral genome is having a 5' 
cap and a polyethyl so that it is easily recognized by the host ribosome on entry and that is instantly translated. That is why it is called as plus sense or positive sense. Then it forms proteins like on translation it forms proteins like replicase then there are many proteins are synthesized. For establishing inside a host step 3 is replication and transcription. These two processes should happen for the successful life cycle of the virus. So the next is the formation of a replication transcription complex that involves many proteins and then step 3 is also the replication of genome. You can see genomic and subgenomic RNAs. The part of the genome is broken down to form subgenomic RNAs that specifically codes for uh, specific parts of the virus like nucleocapsid, spike, membrane, etc. So step 4 is the transcription of subgenomic RNA. As you can see, this, this is the region of the genome that codes for nucleocapsid. This is the region of the genome that codes for spike, etc. Step 5 is the replication of uh, the genome. Uh, it's an RNA genome. So it replication of RNA genome by the enzyme replicase, which is an RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Step 6 is this translation of subgenomic RNA forming nucleocapsid, spike, membrane and envelope. So you can see these proteins are formed that enters endoplasmic reticulum. Further it is modified. Then step 6, the genome is also released. It multiplies with the help of replicase enzyme and the genome is released into the cytoplasm along with a nucleocapsid protein. It organizes to form a nucleocapsid in the cytoplasm. Then during the movement of these viral proteins like spike nucleocapsid from ER to Golgi, in ER Golgi intermediate compartment, it assembles with the help of membrane proteins and finally in step 8 an intact infectious virion is released from the Golgi apparatus inside a vesicle. This completely formed, fully formed infectious viral particle is called as virion which is having, which is capable of causing further infection. And step 8 this intact virion that is packaged in Golgi vesicle is transported out by exocytosis. If you want more details regarding this replication process, I have given uh, the references in the description section. And this is how SARS-CoV-2 that is causing COVID-19 replicates and completes its life cycle and gets ready for further infection inside a host. And this is what we know now. Now moving into the genome, it is a single stranded genome of approximately 30 kb length. This is an RNA genome as I mentioned. This is a positive sense RNA virus. You can see this is the 5 prime cap region and this is the 3 prime polyethyl so that the eukaryotic machinery will identify, will recognize ribosome, will recognize it easily and undergo translation instantly. Then the genome codes for the major enzyme coded by the genome includes proteases that is responsible for formation of replicase, formation of many proteins. Then there is replicase that is meant for replication of the viral genome. Then endoriponuclease uh, then, uh, that is involved in the formation of subgenomic RNAs uh, responsible for the formation of uh, different proteins like spike nucleocapsid etc then there is a spike spike protein that is coded by this region and there are many proteases so this is a genome of SARS-CoV-2 virus that is causing COVID-19 thank you so much for your support thousands of emergency staffs are working round the clock to protect us so please stay at home stay safe and save lives once again, thank you so much for your attention.